Hey everybody, welcome back to Miss Dmark here with Hardcore Casual Gamer. Um, so again, today we're going to finish Mist here. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out just real quick before we actually get started with the end is this book down here is complete and is not burned. Um, this is a book that I'm not going to go into right now, but just kind of want to show you what the book looks like in its current condition, because something will change here in a bit. Anyway, we're just going to put that back. And if you remember the, the messages from Cirrus and Akinar in the last episode, they said head to the last book on the right of the middle shelf, again, our symbol book here, and go to pattern number 158. Let's find that one here. There we go. Okay, so this pattern, again, grab your notebook, draw it a grid however you see fit, and mark down this pattern. Let's head into our fireplace. Push the button. Alright. And just kind of draw out our pattern as we wrote it down. And push the button. <laughs> of course! I missed the one dot. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Okay, so we have our blue page and our red page and the green book. I'm not going to do the book yet, because they said that was a trap. I'm just going to start with Akron. Alright, Akinar. Here you go, buddy. so hard for <laughs> whoops <laughs> yes oh. perhaps you're seeing the world from my point of view <laughs> yes oh <laughs> <laughs> <That's> my brother. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Maybe someone will rescue you someday. guys <laughs> we uh, we freed a raving psychopath and in turn entrapped our ourselves into the very book we had rescued him from um, he tore out our pages and made us stuck maybe someone will rescue you someday thanks Akinar old pal Okay, 
Well, that obviously didn't work out terribly well for us. Um, <laughs> let's try our hand at the not-so-insane brother, Cirrus. So just gotta punch in our code here again. Don't forget that one this time. Alright, grab the red page. My dear friend, you've done the right thing. You stupid fool! <laughs> it looks like perhaps you're in the book now. <laughs> and what have we here? A page. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your new home as much as I enjoyed it. I can't see you. You're getting less clear. I hope you're in the books. <laughs> the library looks much the same as I left. Oh, I can all. Obviously didn't work out. Seems like both brothers are out to uh, to end us. Um, so let's uh, let's try things again here, shall we? All right. So obviously neither the blue nor the red page I have in hand actually worked. Um, we might as well tempt fate and find out what this uh, booby trap green book is. Who the devil are you? <laughs> Don't come here to Dada, not yet. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend, as you no doubt have for me. Where should I begin? Perhaps my story is in order. My name is Atris. I feel you've met my son, Cirrus and Akinar, in the red and blue books on Mist Island in my library. Oh, my library it contains my works, my writings. Oh, I wrote many books that linked me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. I wrote those books to entrap over greedy explorers who might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons would be entrapped. My sons. Cirrus and Akinar, we had many journeys together. I gave them free reign to the books. Perhaps it was not wise. I 
could see the green growing in them. I had not told them about the red and blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Of course, they did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Oh, they devised a plan, an evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had progressed. Their own mother, oh, my own dear Catherine. They used her to lure me here to Dunny. Of course, I could return to Myst, except they removed a single page from my Myst linking book. I cannot return without that page. You, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you believe my story above the lies that my sons have told you. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny, I could go to Mist and bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. Okay, so that's Atrus. He's actually still alive, contrary to uh, what his sons uh, have led you to believe. Um, looks like he's just trapped in this age of Dunny. Um, so let's go take a visit, shall we? to be kind of ruined area. Don't know who that's supposed to be. But there's nothing in any of these alcoves. Nothing over here either. Just kind of some ruined stuff. We can't go up there at all. And here is the man himself, Atrus. Ah, my friend. Ah, you've returned. We meet face to face. And the page, did you bring the page? Warning seriously. <sighs> Welcome to Dunny. <sighs> you and I will live here forever. Best first impression ever. <laughs> we are the the sole means for Atrus to get out of this age of Dunny. And instead of heeding his warning by obtaining that that last of his pages, we just decided to hop in the book without it and become trapped with him as well. So not only are we the ones to not save him? We also get stuck there and live with him forever. <laughs> There's an odd couple moment for you right there. <laughs> and now we literally do nothing but walk around the age of Dunny for all eternity. But I'm not going to bore you with that. 
we're going to go through and play the correct ending to Mist. Hang tight. Alright guys, welcome back. So, um, if you remember in the two ages that we went to, uh, there were two halves of a piece of paper. And if you brought those two pieces together, you should now see a screenshot on your screen displaying this. Uh, the text would read, The vault is located in very plain view on the island of Mist, and access can be achieved very easily if the simple instructions are followed. First, locate each of the marker switches on the island. Turn every one of these switches to the on position. Then go to the dock, and as a final step, turn the marker switch there to the off position. So, um, we have every one of these switches already turned to the on position. And, what do you know, it's night again. Uh, let's head on down here to our dock, and turn this one off. We found our secret page. So, <laughs> breaking the fourth wall here, the mist game here, literally, you can speedrun this game in less than two minutes. The minute you appear down here on the dock, you can go around to every marker switch on the island, turn them on, and then head to that one on the dock, grab that page, and head into the, uh, the fireplace here. And bring it to Atrus. Again, that's the the super super cheap way of beating Mist, but uh, I, I think it's interesting that you can do it nonetheless. But we're gonna do things the proper way here, and actually give this page to Atrus. back in Dunny. I find it kind of interesting that they actually do a, a 3D rendering of him, kind of sausage fingers and all, and then they skip to the uh, cinematic version. Ah, my friend, you've returned. And the page, did you bring the page? Ah, give it to me. Please, give me the page. Page, my friend, page. Just how long can he hold his hand up like that? Let's test. No. <laughs> yeah, he just sits there forever until you take the page. And click on his hand there. You've done the right thing. I have a difficult choice to make. My sons have betrayed me. I know what I must do. I shall return shortly. And now we, we don't have any control over anything, so we just kind of sit here and wait. Listen to the pretty music. are satisfying. 
You will uh, no longer have my sons to deal with. Future, I may find it necessary to request your assistance. Till that point, you're free to enjoy the exploration from my library on Mist. And thank you again. Feel free to enjoy the explorations from my library on Mist. Thank you again, Atrus. So, there is the successful, <laughs> normal, proper ending to the Mist game. Um, that's how it was in the the original Mist. And that's how it is here in Real Mist. Real Mist, however, has a slight different twist. So, let me see if we're able to, uh, yeah. So we can skip that. Um, just like the original Mist, we were left here in, in Dunny. Though we did have access to the Mist book. Let's go ahead and head back here. So again, according to uh, to Aetris, our reward here is coming back to Mist and exploring the ages that he's laid out in the library. You know those those maddening ages, and yeah, how about we go back to uh, the the Selenitic Age and, and head in, into the mine shaft and and ride the Yellow Submarine some more? How about that? Let, let's let's do that again. Can, can we burn some more of these books? <laughs> um, no, so so that is the ending to Regular Mist. Real Mist, on the other hand... Well, sorry. Again, we find that it looks as though both Sirius and Akinar's books have been destroyed. I don't know what he could have done to just <laughs> explode them on the shelves here. But he, he somehow managed to explode the books. Uh, anyway, back to the, the real mist ending. Again, once you kind of turn here, you see... Oh, what? Something's out of place. There's a book. That used to be right there. We open it up. And we're looking at that rhyme book again. So, I'm actually going to cut this episode right here. We have successfully beaten Mist, but I'm going to show you a small little treat here come the next episode. All right, until then, guys, take it easy as always, and uh, thank you very much. All right, bye.